What's up everyone? Welcome back to the Outdoor Living YouTube channel and today we're going to be fishing for trout in this stream. The way I was working the lure was I was casting it upstream and letting the current bring it down, giving it a really nice action. I would also pop it every once in a while as well, just to give it a little more action and to keep it from getting snagged. What a beautiful fish. This is a cutthroat trout, guys. Got him on that little pink jig. I'm gonna measure this guy up right now. Got that jig out of his mouth. Now it's measuring up. He's just at 13 inches, guys. If he was one inch bigger, we could keep him. Just at 13 inches. Very next cast. This is a big one, guys. This is a big fish. This is a better one. I think this might be 14. It's a cutthroat. What a beautiful fish. Check that out. Right in the corner of the mouth, too. Check that out. Look at that, guys. Just over 14 at about 15 inches. He's got the cut on his throat right there. That's how you know he's a cutthroat. I'm going to get this guy on the stringer. This is going to be taste good cooking up. Go right through the gill. And, uh, all right, guys, I got him on the stringer right there. And um, I'm gonna keep fishing. I'm using just a little 132 ounce jig head to a small trout magnet. And then I'm tipping it with the Mike's shrimp flavored salmon egg. And then I'm catching fish right in this little hole back here. So um, I'm gonna take a few more casts and then I'm gonna head home. All right, guys, I switched up to this little white jig, and I'm going to see if I can get one more out of this spot on this white one. All right, guys, we just got back to our place here in Washington, and um, I'm down at this little creek that flows through our property. And um, I'm going to clean the trout now and show you guys how I like to clean trout. All right, so the first thing I like to do when cleaning the trout is I just cut right underneath the gill, this little slit here of skin, just like that. And then I go right 
down the belly. Cut right down the belly just like so. I'm going to cut right out. And then all I do is I stick my hand in here and I just get all the guts out. Just like that. The gills and just cut the gills out. And so then you can get the throat and any other pieces of guts in there out. And then it should look like that. And then the next thing, I like this knife because it has a spoon on the end. So you can use that spoon to stick right in here and scrape out that bloodline with. comes right out and then the bloodline is out and you just have to rinse it out and then your trout is good to go beautiful fish right there I noticed that this trout has decently orange meat which is really nice because this is a wild cutthroat trout so the meat is orange almost Alright guys, I just cut the trout in half because it wouldn't fit in the bag. And look at that meat. Bam.